Hello everybody and welcome back to some more death battle stuff. Um, in the past I had done death battle with uh, Yang and Tifa, um, and I've watched other death battles as well because it's, it's screw attack and they make really cool content and everything with their death battles. Um, like the, the, what was it, the Saitama versus Goku one. That was pretty fun. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, this one's all about Jotaro and uh, Kinshiro? Kinshiro. I don't remember that. I don't know how to say that name. Um, looking at the th thumbnail for this one, because I've, I've seen other people react to this one, th I don't think I know this guy. Um, all I know is the meme that comes from this guy. He's like the original, like, nani? <laughs> kind, of like, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, like, I guess he hit a guy a bunch of times, but then, like, it didn't affect him or something like that, and he, he was, like, joking, or the other guy was, like, talking to him. And he's like, you're already dead. And he's like, no, I need, like, you know, what? You know, kind of thing. And also, he's like, it explodes, or, you know, whatever. So, I know that meme. Um, I think that's the same guy. Not entirely sure. I guess we'll learn about it, because that, that death battle does walk us through the character and everything. So, real fast. This video is edited um, for my spoiler-free content. Um, so, big things to try for putting it together. And Shadow... Uh, Shadowhawk for um, actually editing it down and everything and sending it my way. So yeah, it is an edited video just to avoid spoilers and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure for Jotaro's sake because Jotaro is part of JoJo and everything. So uh, we haven't caught up with the well, we caught up with the show, but the manga I don't think, and it's probably gonna go into manga stuff pretty much. Anyways, let's go. Let's see what this is all about. I'm not sure what is edited. They did tell me anything about what's edited and what's not kind of thing. Um, I might ask afterwards to see if like gave us a small, some, some small kind of thing. Cause I remember with the, um, with the, <laughs> what was it? It was, um, it, it was the fairy tale thing with Urza, um, Urza and Zoro. or Zoro. <laughs> Zoro? No, so, oh my God. What are you for his name? <laughs> Yeah, so, what, okay, my mind is, like, conflicted now. Oh my god, why did I forget freaking his name? Ro no Zoro. Yes. Why did my name think that's wrong? Or why did my brain think that, see? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's get started here. Let's do this. Screw attack. We've covered a lot of <laughs> macho heroes here on Death Battle. But these two are as manly and stoic as they come. <laughs> it's all in those sweet ass jackets. I mean, I, I guess they're pretty badass too. Jotaro Kujo, the delinquent turned hero from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yes. And Kenshiro, the wandering fist of the Yeah, North this Star. guy. I don't know He's about it. And, I'm Boomstick. and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. All right. Who's up As next? A first, teenager, yep. Jotaro Kujo was a fairly infamous troublemaker. But you can just call him Jojo like his friends do. Get it? Jotaro Kujo. <laughs> How bizarre. Indeed. <laughs> While being a high school hoodlum isn't usually a good idea, it worked out great for him, because he toughed up a lot. At the age of 17, Jotaro was arrested for <laughs> brutally pummeling four known gang members, who were yeah. armed with knives and nunchucks of all things, with apparently his bare fists. Right. But Jotaro had a bigger problem. He didn't know how he did it. He knew yeah. he was tough, but not that tough. So he came to the only conclusion that makes sense. He was possessed by an evil spirit! <laughs> yeah. Just like my pet rat. Yeah, wait, is that why he's been scratching pentagrams all over his cage? <laughs> You'll find out. But then Jotaro did something absolutely crazy. To prove his theory, he swiped a police officer's gun, pointed it straight at his head, and fired. And, and the hand caught it. Died. Just kidding. <laughs> That's right. out of his body to stop the bullet, of course. This strange yeah. being attached to Jotaro wasn't an evil spirit at all. It's an entity physically generated by Jotaro himself yep. and inherited through his bloodline. Yeah, yep. lots of the Jojo family has them, including his granddad, Joseph. These beings are called stands, literally yeah. because they Love stand that one. by you. Ugh. I mean, I guess <laughs> it's not wrong. It's so lame. Stands are powered by their user's life force. And turns out Totoro's life force is supercharged because he's got one of the strongest stands of all. 
Star Platinum. Yeah. Star Platinum has superhuman strength, speed, precision, all of that. And <laughs> he can even phase through bodies and affect a person's inner organs. Plus, while Star Platinum can take a solid hit, most stands can only be damaged by other stands or stand users. So he's basically invincible unless he's fighting another stand. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, unless you have a stand of your own, you wouldn't even be able to see Star Platinum. Yep. Oh great, so he's invincible and invisible. And when you combine all that with Chotro's fighting skills <laughs> and exceptional cleverness, they make a magnificent team. That's good, because Chotaro soon found out his family's old vampire nemesis was out to get him. Yup. Dio! Dio? Chotaro didn't just stand up to Dio, he copied Dio's greatest ability, the time stop. With this new power, he Star did. Platinum can freeze time everywhere for five seconds. He can do it <laughs> multiple times, though it does need a sort of recharge between uses. Kind of like an ability cooldown in a video game, or me in the bedroom, ladies. But still, <laughs> All right. he can friggin' stop time! Yeah. In Jotaro's case, he may be human, but he's strong enough to smash through stone and leap several stories. On the other hand, Star Platinum is said to be faster than light. Sure. Technically, he can because he can stop time or whatever, but he can't really move that fast normally, right? Well, maybe. Star Platinum has maximum speed yet. with another stand called Silver Chariot. Silver Chariot previously defeated a different stand called Hanged Man. Long story short, Hanged Man moves between reflections at light speed, and Silver Chariot caught him in mid-movement. Granted, Silver Chariot had to use an elaborate plan to force <laughs> Hanged Man into moving in a predictable direction. Yeah. If Silver Chariot was truly faster than light, he wouldn't have needed to resort to such a plan. But the fact he caught Hanged Man at all is proof enough that he's at least close to light speed. So that means Star Platinum is close to light speed too. And he's got the super strength to back up his super speed. He can lift a steamroller that's around 60 tons. <laughs> he yeah. broke the top of this building off and threw it like a javelin. And then there's the time that he broke a giant monster lady's teeth yeah. that were harder than Also, diamonds. those scenes are from like a OVA thing or whatever. Object protection from Try and mentioned it to me but earlier. We could also compare this to pressure resistance or the possibility of fracture through a diamond's cleavage. <laughs> Not Stop. that kind of cleavage. <clears throat> the toughest diamonds break around 600 gigapascals. This means Star Platinum can clearly strike with a force equivalent to 3 million tons. Turns out diamonds aren't forever when Star Platinum's around. What can't this guy do? Gee, Sounds yeah. like nobody could beat him. <laughs> Maybe not, but unlike Stan's, Jotaro is and the world. or invisible. <laughs> and whenever Jotaro the way it's said, I know Star it's Stan, Platinum but... feels the same pain. In fact, when a stand user dies, so does their stand. And vice versa. Sure, but with a guy like Star Platinum having his back, I don't think Jotaro has a whole lot to worry about. These two are one kick-ass duo. Indeed. And stylish. <laughs> Your receipt. You can keep the freaking change. <laughs> they use a dub there. <laughs> it's the last decade of the All 20th right. century, and the world has been ruined. In this apocalyptic age, the strong survive and the weak kneel. Only one man challenges this new society, and fortunately, he has the literal power to do it. Kenshiro, best of the North Star. All right. Like most important protagonists, Kenshiro began his journey to greatness as a young orphan. Lucky for him, he eventually met old man Ryukin, who was a pretty cool dude. <laughs> he ended up adopting Kenshiro along with a few other kids. He was also the 63rd Denshosha. Don't shoot what? It's on safety. A grandmaster of an ancient Chinese martial art called Hokuta Shinken. While anyone can learn the basics of this dangerous fighting style, there can only ever be one Grand Master for each generation. So that's what Kenshiro set out to be. And with patience, training, and plenty of muscle building, he was named the next successor of Hakuna Matashin. Too bad his adoptive <laughs> brother got pissed he wasn't chosen and killed Ryukin over it. Talk about a sore loser. With Hokuto Shinken mastered, Kenshiro can focus his energy into his strikes effectively killing an opponent with a single blow to their pressure points. There are 708 malleable pressure points in the human body, and striking Jeez. any of them can cause all sorts of effects. 
Stunning, blinding, healing, restoring memories, making people walk backward? But mostly, they just make people explode! Anyway, things started looking pretty great for Kenny. He even got engaged! But then nuclear war broke out and turned the Earth into Mad Max land. Kinshiro's fiancé got kidnapped, and this guy used his knife fingers to draw a nifty big dipper on Kenshiro's chest. Jeez. Seriously, how is he not dead after that? Miraculously, Kenshiro survived and began his wayward journey wandering the wasteland searching for revenge. And if we go by how many people he blew up, I'd say he got plenty of it. He God. really does leave a big mess behind. I can't even imagine what it must be like to clean up after one of his fights. Kenshiro had no problem killing hordes of baddies with moves like his bone-crushing fist, spilling wheel-exploding fist, and hundred crack fist. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing him kill all these people from the inside out reminds me a lot of my ex-wife. Um, how? Oh. Emotionally, Wiz. Most of the time, his body explosions don't even happen right away, giving him plenty of time to explain to his foes how they're about to die right before they explode. You think you can beat me with a finger? That finger struck the hidden vital point known as Gakuchu. There's no use fighting now. You're already dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was, that's the meme that I saw. Sure, Kenshiro has developed a number of legendary techniques, Jesus such as the Tenryu Kokyuho, aka the art of dragons breathing. According to Kenshiro, this unlocked the full potential of his natural abilities, where a normal fighter would only use about 30%. He can utilize Toki, or his own natural key, to perform numerous techniques. Most of these involve punching, of course, but he can also create mirage images of himself, sense other fighting auras, and fire key-based projectiles to attack or defend from a distance. Oh, okay. uh, and he can perform miracles, like making a mute girl speak. Ken! Yeah! Heck! But even that <laughs> pales in comparison to That's Tokido cool. Shinken's ultimate technique, one which no previous Grandmaster ever unlocked, Muso Tensei. Only those who truly understand pain and loss can apply Muso Tensei. With it, Kenshiro draws upon his inner sadness to enter a state of nothingness. From here, he is impervious to attacks, essentially achieving intangibility. Jesus! He somehow connects to the souls of dead allies and rivals, and can even use their techniques. But it's not like he needs them. He's already crazy enough on his own. He smashed the bones of a giant with a single hand, broke a metal table just by standing up, and hit a tank <laughs> so hard, it blew up. He's even strong enough to break a skyscraper in half. Jesus. And then when it collapsed on top of him, he just walked through it. What a boss. Just God. The one floor of an average size skyscraper can weigh over 1,000 tons. You think that's tough? Kenshiro can stand in lava. Lava! You know how hot lava is? Up to 2,000. Yeah, really freaking hot, that's what. And remember that tank? Before he blew it up, it shot him square on. It did absolutely nothing to him. Jesus Christ. This guy is manly as hell. <laughs> this one. <laughs> That's the meme. That's the one I saw. I thought it was the other one, but they dubbed it. But it's a different one. Once and for all. But first, these guys are so stylish, you know they're rocking me undies. <laughs> they're both like... So, so that's like the theme. Okay, I got it. Like the suit punching. And terrible underwear. Uh -huh. There's only one company we trust to keep oh, the gosh. balance of style undies. and comfort. MeUndies.com, makers <laughs> of the best pair of underwear in the world. Right. Their diamond-seamed pouches cradle my most sacred of jewels <laughs> without feeling restrained or imprisoned. Stop. from sustainably sourced fabric three times softer than cotton, which renders the wearer plus 10 in comfort and agility. And right. MeUndies.com has a 100 Percent satisfaction guarantee. You'll love your undies or get your coins back. It's dangerous to go unclothed. Get the softest underwear you'll ever own. 20% off with free shipping and 100% satisfaction guarantee. Just head right. to meundies.com forward slash battle. <laughs> That's meundies.com forward slash battle. Time is limited. Start wearing this legendary underwear. It changed my life and it's time to let <laughs> meundies change yours. Go to meundies.com forward slash battle right now. But first... <laughs> It's time for a death battle! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Death battle time. So, I'm rooting for Jotaro. But I can definitely see... Ken having, like, the upper hand here. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no! 
It's about right. Dada, Omeva. <笑>やるって言うのだ。相手になる。場所を選ぶ。そこが貴様の死に場所だ。やっぱりお前は態度がでかいな。He's <笑> Yes! <laughs> Immediately to the stopping time. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Damn. So, so far, it's pretty even. Ah, oh, there's the mirror image. <laughs> yeah. The mirage. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a mirror. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, well, all Kentro needed to do to win was just get one hit in. But this matchup was far closer than that makes it seem. Yeah. Of course it was. Kentro spent the whole time fighting Star Platinum, who he couldn't even see. Lucky for him, once he figured that out, his ability to sense other fighting auras helped him keep track of SP. But no matter what he did, Kentro isn't a stand user, so he couldn't actually hurt Star Platinum. Then again, Star Platinum's own strength wasn't quite enough to hurt Kentro much either. One of Star Platinum's greatest strength feats involves breaking and throwing a small section of a building. In comparison, Kentro broke an entire building, let it fall on him, and acted like it wasn't even there. Yeah. Also, while Jotaro may be skilled in deducing his enemy's weaknesses and strategies in mid-fight, Kenshiro's skills, durability, and straightforward approach meant there really wasn't anything for him to pick apart here. Okay. Kenshiro did have trouble with Jotaro's time-stopping and Star Platinum's speed. However, with his awesome durability plus additional intangibility when using Muso Tensei, Kenshiro survived the time stops. And the time stops cooldowns between uses gave Kenshiro enough time to work around them. The time stop has been worked around by foes in Jotaro's past before. And as far as speed was concerned, Kenshiro may not have been faster than Star, but a mix of Muso Tensei and Mirage clones were more than enough to get by. And let's be real, <laughs> Jotaro never stood a chance against Kenshiro by himself. In the end, both combatants had plenty of advantages, but Kentro's techniques and overwhelming power ended this fight. Jojo didn't stand a chance. The winner is <laughs> Kentro. Yeah, like like I said, I was hey rooting for Jojo. Death Battle. If you want to see exclusive commentary, click but the link right over there. The way they were like the telling about episode, him, the it 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 stood to reason that like he was gonna probably win. Next time. Oh gosh. Oh, well. Crash versus Spyro. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, and resets. Alright, so... I'm just gonna leave it, like, right there. There we go. Um, anyway, so yeah, I I had a feeling it was gonna be something like that, because the way they were explaining um, this guy... Um, like I said, I don't know the guy, and I haven't seen, and I haven't seen the anime at all, um, but the, the way they were explaining that guy, it seemed like he was pretty OP, like, compared to Jotaro. Um, could Jotaro could just, can stop time and everything, but, like, they were saying, like, he's, like, walking through buildings, he can, like, phase himself to, like, this, like, other world thing or whatever, and then pass through things, like, phase through things kind of thing, and so, 
all of that combined, I mean, they, he didn't even do that here. He didn't even phase through, like, in his battle. Like, so, <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyways, it was a pretty fast fight, gotta say. It, 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 was, a, it was a pretty fast fight. Um, yeah. But uh, like I said, it, it just it, just looking at like the evidence and everything that they had for the other guy, it, it, it did stand to reason that like he was gonna he was gonna win. Um, so that sucks. But I don't know. <laughs> Jono in my in my book is still like the coolest of the two. Um, but yeah, I do know that meme of like the that like the no need like you're already dead. <laughs> it's just like what <laughs> kind of thing. So yeah, so there you go. Um, yeah. I, get, I know there is the OVA uh, for um, JoJo that I still have to do. We're going to wait for the next uh, part of JoJo to come out in order for me to watch it. So we're going to watch the OVA as well as new episodes, whatever, when that comes around. Um, so for those of you wondering, that's what's going to happen. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in one of my many other videos I will be doing um, from now until... Jojo starts up once again. <laughs> Take care, buddy.